Good afternoon, my fellow engineers. Or, good evening, rather. Back today, we are... Or today, we are back <laughs> in Hardcore Survival. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. Am I really blocked by it? Well, it's not there. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um, anyways, today we got to get this wind turbine going to get a little bit more power so it can be refining at the same time. And then to create a mining vessel. I think that'd be a bit better than attaching a big drill to the base. Attaching a hydrogen engine and burning through all of our hydrogen. Yes, I, I saw the comment. I'm like, ah, I didn't think of that. Now I'm just going to be empty the whole time. But for right now, we just probably need some girders, which I think we have, actually. Yeah, I thought I was trying to do that a second ago. Girders. There we are. Girders, interior plates, and motors. We only need one interior plate, so... It's a good chance we have one sitting around somewhere. If not, it can be easily created. Boop. We had enough iron for that one. Well, that's good. Except I couldn't pick it up because I'm holding all sorts of construction components. That's usual. That's normal. <laughs> Just one interior plate. We got all the motors, I think. I was pretty sure I saw motors. Yep, interior plate. Motors. Oops, I, I didn't grab the interior plate when I said interior plate. There we go. <laughs> that wasn't an audio issue. That was me. <laughs> uh, but we have Wind Turbine 2. Soon to be operational and... Yep, it's actually operational now. By the time it took me to say soon to be operational. We have one battery here. Where's the battery that had... Okay. You need more power cells. We should have some more available for you. Yep, there's 38. You can only hold two at the moment. Let me go ahead and put everything else down. There we are. How many more interior plates do I need if I want all my ladders working? I need 20 construction components. Oh, yeah. These ladders are expensive. But you know what? Ladders are worth it. Let me grab these construction components that I probably was creating for something else and take them with me as I go up. All right. I can, I can always put extra construction components. That's the sucky part about the ladder because I can put 20, but I only need 10 per. So let's drop these off and just grab 10 at a time. So we can finish one ladder and then move up to the next. Oh, that one didn't have any interior plates. Okay, we'll make four more interior plates. Basic assembler. Don't know why it didn't default to that. I think because I'm accessing from the... Yeah. I'm accessing from the other... The survival kit. Alright, no. Not all of those. Just 10 of those. 10. We'll do the next one. I want to be able to climb up this thing. Ugh, we had a construction components already. We just didn't have small steel tubes. Yeah, that's just going to be... It. It's just going to get a bit annoying. Oh, see? If I had the right amount of stuff, I wouldn't be worried about that. Here we are. I made enough stuff for the first ladder, it looks like. No, no, it didn't. It did make for the second ladder, though. Wow, that is the most... That is the strongest ladder here. And walk to the next ladder. <laughs> and run out of stuff. Because I can't... Oh, whoa. Okay, gotta watch out. Don't click while you're on the ladder. You'll apparently fall straight off. Not great. Um, Feel critical, even though I was just standing there. So, there's not enough fuel for me to get to the top. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. Doesn't sound smart. <clears throat> not that I make the smartest decisions. <laughs> and not that I can say the word decision. <laughs> Alright, we need 66 power cells. I hope that many are queued up. Production, basic assembler, eight. Eight are cured up. Because we, well, we only need eight. Go and throw those in there. Oh, I caught a gnat and then I opened my hand and it flew away. Oh, this gnat. These gnats. I've removed half the, the plants from my room. And there's still gnats. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> what's causing so many gnats. But, I don't know. Oh, the, the thing I was going to do is I was going to use the, the rover that is yet to be named to uh, create the flying version of itself. This battery is going to go through so many different machines. It's kind of hilarious. The machines are all built around the battery, too. It's, I think, I think it's funny. <laughs> and more meteors to knock down our beautiful tower of power. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. But we need the... We need these up high, so maybe I'll add another support to this tower, since that's, you know, logical. Oh, come on! How many? We can only hold six batteries at a time, really? 
Okay. <clears throat> we just need 30 more. I'm going to queue up 30 more. And then we'll get off to building. There we go. Get off to building it. Wait, there's 24 in there? Oh, boy. There's, there's batteries everywhere. I hear you, meteors. Hold on. What do you want? Oh, you're falling like 10 miles that way. That's perfect. We have this little thing that can protect us from meteors coming this way. And leave, leave us a nice little, like, wall of extra resources when they hit when they hit the wall itself. That'd be very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Alright, let's get to building that, that flying ship. So I think I will take this. Mm. <laughs> I want to take this. That's, that's the point, but... Ah, come on, hydrogen. There we go. 99%. Is there not enough ice to fill it to 100%? Do you do things like 99% of the way? Okay, I guess that was just like one tick of its... Uh, it's production. Uh, we have nothing to produce using that, so we're just low on iron. Okay, always always low on iron, but that's all right. So for the mining vessel, I'm thinking like I was originally gonna go with with the craft and put two. Yeah, let me move it backwards a little bit, make it a little easier to see. Uh, remote control, control, back we go, park. <laughs> all right. I was thinking of putting one two drills or one drill in the center and making this a very thin craft. I haven't really decided that yet. I think I'm liking the thin idea. Here, let's start to lay it out and see how it looks. It's a it's a very purpose-built thing because, you know, hardcore. Not wanting to die kind of goes together with purpose. Drill. Beautiful. We have drill and we need... Uh, what are they called? Atmos they're just called engines? Atmos. There we are. We needed those conveyors. <laughs> and basic assembler's not needed. Wind turbine, I don't think, would make sense on there, nor would it work. And... Yeah, that'd be it. So I'm wondering if I should do it as a drone, where I can fly it over... Like, I'll have to go over there, because I don't have any antenna. I could put an antenna on the base with this huge power draw. I can fly it over, stand next to the hole, have it drill, and then get on a seat or something at the back. Like, attach the seat at the back. Will the seat attach at the back? I don't know. We'll grab the seat. I know the flight seats mod, the flight seat mod is on here, but I think the flight seat's pretty expensive. And we'll grab some interior plates, and hopefully I can just stick it on the back like a, <laughs> like a chair. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. Like, Nothing more, nothing less. Let me grab this grinder. It's getting dark. I'm, you know, kind of opposite of the thinking of darkness. Let's turn this on. Kind of opposite of the thinking of darkness. I do need solar panels. Because, you know, the wind turbines are nice. But I think the solar panels have higher outputs during the day. I'm not sure. I'll have to check up on that. Got a little bit of gold in this hole. A little bit more gold in that hole. There's gold everywhere, huh? And this big stripe of land in the in the ice. That's totally natural. Yeah, who knows? For this world, could be totally natural. Uh, we got a grinder now. Oop, I'm about a mile away from that. There we go. All the way. Okay, I don't have enough space for that. But we do have enough space to add a little... What am I holding that I'm using up so much space? I'm holding about a million motors. That's, that's understandable. Okay. Not understandable as to why I'm holding them though. That's that's completely oof. Oof. Did I just grind down a little bit of the battery? That was spooky. Uh no. <laughs> Be less ground down, please. I need you in like tip top shape. Uh don't need any of you. Alright. You have everything. I'll take one of those, right? Ah, the battery's holding all my steel plates now. And I have a lot of scrap for some reason. That must be when the battery got damaged. Uh, I didn't intentionally damage it, of course, but I think I did run into something. Alright, that's a bit of iron. Good amount. It's already refined, it's just iron that's been shaped, so it, I would hope it'd refine back down to exactly the same weight. A hundred... It looks like it'll be about... not 240. Okay. That's... I guess somewhat understandable? I don't know. Anyways... We gotta get rid of this remote control and we'll replace it with a drill. Lob that off real quick. 
There we go, and I hit the battery again, but for right now, I'm not going to worry too much because the battery's not doing anything crazy. Alright, so drill slightly under the battery. This will be the bottom of the ship. And once I attach the engines and the gyroscope, I'll go and lob off the wheels. But, you know, it'll be... <laughs> I'm going to be sitting backwards, piloting it forwards. It's going to be a little weird. That or the drill could be the back of the ship, and I just back into things. I feel like that'll be hard to control and potentially dangerous, so maybe not. Uh, you have steel plates. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Now, wait a minute. I'm curious. I don't know the energy density of, uh, like, the, like a Tesla battery. I'm curious. What is this one? What, how much does this st store at maximum? Max stored power, one megawatt hour. And for a Tesla model, I don't know, their, their newest one, their Model S. You know, I'm going to look that up real quick. Hold on. That's a definite whoa. It's a 75 kilowatt hour battery. And this future space... <laughs> Future space sci-fi. I, I don't know if it's sci-fi. I guess it would be sci-fi. It's got jump drives and stuff. Anyways, science fiction. Um, it has a battery that stores one megawatt hour compared to the 75 kilowatt hours. So this battery is so much more <laughs> energy dense than the Tesla battery. And I can shoot it all I want and it won't explode. Well, I think with the mod I included it will explode. Uh, getting sidetracked as I do. Getting sidetracked. How about you? Um... Some atmospheric thrusters point downwards. I think I'm going to need four because this is pretty heavy. Well, it won't be very heavy. It's only got one cargo container and one drill. It'll be pretty light, actually. Okay. So we'll do two down for now. You know what? Three. I, I want to play it a bit safe. Uh, where would I put the third one? It'd just be here. That won't look very nice. Uh, right there. That's the wrong height. Down. Okay. Let me think about that. Uh, in the meantime, I'll grab the gyroscope, which is a definite must. And I'll plop it up here, probably. No, it needs to be all within this, the drill out profile. And I think the drill does need to move up since I was just thinking about how, oops, how, how wide the drill hole is, which will probably need some adjusting in the future for us to make this craft work and be as skinny as it needs to be. The O2H2 generator is still attached to this ship for, I don't know the reason, more of, I, I can't really fit it on there, I don't really have all the materials to do that. So here is probably the most efficient one. Not a lot of ice in it though. I don't hear the refinery going anywhere, let me adjust my headphones. Nope. Okay, so we must be through the cobalt, finally. Oh no, no, I just walked far away from it. <laughs> I'm, I probably should turn the sound up, but then I'll have to turn it down. This is like the perfect sound level. That I don't have to turn it down. All right, let's grab the remote control, a ore detector. Um, what can I replace for the ore detector? I don't need a drill at the moment. An ore detector, a powerful drill of power. Uh, can I crouch? Thank you. Oh, you take up all that space, do you, drill? Oh, that's nice. I can't just attach an ore detector somewhere. Oh well. Uh, ore detector. So this is gonna be like our little tech package up top. Then we'll have the. I think the ore detector on the side, the... Oh, we need an antenna. The antenna on the... Ant? Antenna? Fun. Antenna? That's a laser antenna. That doesn't make much sense. An antenna on the side, uh, pointed upwards. That doesn't matter, but... Oh, that'd be cool if it was like a... Like a... There's a Kerbal Space Program has a mod where the orientation of your antennae matter. I'm, I'm making hand gestures and I'm... I'm seeing myself in the, one of my monitors is super reflective. Um, <laughs> anyways, it has a mod where you can do um, where the orientation of your antenna matters. So, like, if your craft gets pointed the wrong way and you're like, you have like this big dish on it to communicate with Kerbal, like the Kerbal Command Center, it just disconnects. <laughs> and now you're now you're like well earned probe on the way to like was it Elu or something? Yeah, isn't making it. <laughs> Or it's going to whack right into it. Okay. So, I need just the materials to build these. But I want to lay out the craft first, which I'm still doing. Uh, down lower, up higher. Up higher, I think that's on the same level as everyone. I must have ground it down for no reason then. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, cool. And then I'll have some thrusters blowing straight past my face. Because that's cool. <laughs> 
Uh, I really only need one. I'll put two just so they're there. And then I need like two or three reverse thrusters, which I can put up here. Uh, assuming I had steel plates. Where's the, where are those meteors coming from? Are they coming from over there? Nope, that's a planet. Is that the alien planet? I don't remember it being that close. That must be Mars. Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? You guys always startle me, huh? You're very startly. Yeah, keep going, keep going. No, no one wants you here. I'm just getting very lucky and you not attacking my, my pillar here. But if you do, there would be a drill in your future. There would be no more meteors left. <laughs> they will all be drilled down. Okay. Number six will put us... Oh, right. We could just throw them right here. One reverse. Two re What? Two reverse. Three reverse. Four. Nope. Didn't have the space to do my three reverse four. Uh, well, since these go up one, these can also go up one. And it'll still be on the same kind of plane. Oh, wait. Am I using the mod that makes uh, the position of thrusters matter? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I sincerely hope not, even though these are kind of... This is heavier in the front. I don't know if I'm using that mod, and if I am, it's, am, it's going to be really bad, and I did place that thruster backwards. Um, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> Here's to hoping. Let's, uh, I have a lot to build up. Yeah, this craft is going to be a lot of work. I'm going to need a lot of materials for it. Maybe shouldn't have disabled the uh, the craft that it's replacing. Yeah, that might have been a good idea. Um, battery. You didn't need anything. Oh, you needed those steel plates. Let me put them down so you don't you can't have them. Uh, take the steel plates away. Let me fly up here. Add them in. Wow, we need 32 still. That's kind of insane. Okay. Um, we have the need for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten metal grids. I think we have the cobalt for that, but not the iron. Ten. I almost ordered up a hundred. Alright, so I can start building these up. I'll have not everything I need, though. Uh, what do I need? I need... Well, I have everything I need for a remote. Oh, I guess not. What do I have? I have nothing? I have interior plates and small steel tubes. The motor needs... Or the remote needs interior plates. What needs small steel tubes? I would like to give them to you. It doesn't look like any of you need small steel tubes. That's okay. I figured you'd need something. Oh, the conveyors! Ah, I've conveniently covered up the conveyor ports. I figured I was done. Well, I need to get this ice out somehow and accidentally drill down the drill while I'm at it. Let's go ahead and place you back. I think that's the right orientation. Good, good. And I think it's... Yeah, that last little bit is where the... Where the... Uh, where these guys come in. Pop out. There we go. We'll put, put them over on this side, and we'll try to focus the weight on that side. Oh man, I just, <laughs> I think I just injured him, or I think I'm just going to have a lot of trouble with this mod. I'm kind of spooked, but kind of excited. Um, where did I throw all those interior plates into? I don't remember. Uh, did I put them in here? Nope. Uh, I'll take those. I will get ten, because I think I'm going to need ten. Two, three. How little does interior plates take? Okay. We'll do six. That's quite a few. I don't think we're actually going to need six. We have to come out one. Oops. Come out one. Come around. Oh, light. That'll help. Light always helps when you're working on projects and you just can't see what's going on. It's like you're missing something. Like the amount of light. All right. So it's going to have a little bit more weight on the right side. If that thruster thing is to be believed. But hopefully these are... That hopefully this is such an insignificant amount of weight that it, it, it's okay with it. Oh, look at that. I have all sorts of stuff to build this. Just need motors. Let me grab some motors. Motors! Hold on, I gotta... St ah, never mind. It's stuck and it hurts. Okay. I had to sneeze, but it... It came and it went. Sadly. So it's always terrible when you can't, like, sneeze. <laughs> when you really need to. There we go. It's all that pepper in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I just referred to NASA's pepper. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. You, hey, you got computers and motors. You needed those. Ah, motors. That's something I can add to these in the meantime. While well, I... Okay, I ran out of motors. Ah, I'm going to need a lot more stuff. Steel plates, yes. Batteries, why not? I'll take all the batteries I can hold. 
and all the construction components I can hold. And take these batteries up here. Ah, I'm holding steel plates. Ah, you, you almost got me. You almost got me. And I still need to go backwards. So, do I have the four I need? Only I, need, I only have two. Uh, the four I need are gone. That's fine. I will make two more. Oops, made a hundred. Totally intended to do that. <laughs> All right, can't place it because is the only mounting point where these mount. Is that true? Um, you're not holding anything on, are you? No, I don't think so. Eh. Oh, it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Okay. Let's throw these power cells down. There we go. Let's grab the drill and control plus. Hopefully it doesn't break the mod. Okay. That's its drilling sphere, I guess. And there are the mounting points in blue, I believe, right? mounting now it's in yellow so the mounting points are in blue and that's where it's all coincidentally airtight oh it has a conveyor in the back oops large drill small drill all right hmm mining radius if only i could leave that up while after i built it so i can see but it, that radius looks like it uh yeah it kind of does look like it, it covers the whole ship cool which means we have we did it exactly the the, the space we needed to. All right, so you only can attach. So you have one more mounting point there. Okay, maybe I can can throw one of the thrusters on this side. Oh, great! Now I have all these overlays. That's pretty cool, actually. I like the overlays. It it makes it more engineering. Oh, so the thruster mounting points are yeah, just only in the center. Hmm. How do I reverse, then? I only need one up there. I didn't see any mounting points on the top of the drill. These don't have any mounting points at all, if I believe. I believe. You're in the way for that. Still in the way for that. Hmm. Okay, for now, there'll just be one to slow down. And to point down. That'll be added when I think of where to add it. Alright, so... The steel plates can be put down for now. I can... I would like to build everything else that I can while I'm while I'm walking around this ship. The steel plates are so it needs so many of them. It's it's practically it's practically useless to try to get all of them. Oh, that's where my other interior plate went. It's in the remote control. That's fine. A, a good strong remote control will make for good strong remoting. I don't know. <laughs> we remote into it. What do we use to remote into it? <laughs> All right, we got four antenna parts needed, which I believe are somewhere around here. They might be on the other base. And did I already exhaust all my construction components? No, I didn't. You can have the rest. You can have the whatever remains. And you guys probably aren't getting anything. Yep. There's just small tubes left. And nothing, unfortunately, takes small tubes except these ladders that are really desperate for small tubes. So we'll go ahead and pop some in. Now, you already have all the small tubes you need. As do you, and you, and not you. Aha, oh, I only had one. <laughs> okay, so now that's empty. And I, oh, I was, going to, I was going to mention that, yes, I indeed am going from base to base. <laughs> or moving a base because uh, of being able to have hydrogen and ready fuel, or fuel ready to use. I can add you back into there. Did I just see an overlay? Ah, <gasps> how beautiful. Does that work for the drill? Yes. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay. So it looks like it extends out all the way to where the, uh, to where this is. So we have enough space. I'm not sure if that's the right click in the, in the red or the left click in the red. Control plus mounting. Yeah. Okay. All the overlays off then. Shoot, is it F2? Okay, mod settings, not aerodynamic physics. Oh, build info. There it is. Uh, enter, F2. Build info. Uh, window box overlays. Oh, it doesn't show. Okay. Um, box stages, leak info. Oh, binds and related. Oh, those, okay, that's all the binding stuff. It doesn't say. Doesn't say. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what that word says. It's behind stuff, but it's a text box thing. Oops, I opened a help window. Okay, that's fine. Uh, mounting point and air tightness explains. Da, ba, ba, ba. None of this is useful. Okay, well, none of this is useful for my particular scenario. 
And what are you refining still? Gosh, I hear you running. You're not refining anything. It, you're literally just sitting there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's get up to the... Um, to the battery. We need 20 more cells. The battery's almost there. And in this downtime, we cannot be wasting power. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there we go. Just six, six more. We're just gonna. I guess we're just gonna keep doing this for a little while. We have a we have a good hour to go, <laughs> or a good hour to do. I don't know. We have an hour. We have, a, we have, a, we have an hour <laughs> from the start. Okay, we only need eight. Oh my gosh, it is almost done. Okay, uh, eight, and then I'll cancel those, and then do ten, and then a hundred again. And I'll grab my drill, my amazing, beautiful drill. Let's go get some... Oops. Um, oh, wait. I have to do G. Can I? Yeah, I have to do G. I can't just drag it into it. That's that's a little bit annoying. I thought that was a thing where I could drag it into it. But um, ice, ice, gold. Okay. Uh, you already got down a little bit, so I have this different textured uh, rock that I can dig into. And I still haven't changed the suit color. I, I've been working on that for a while, and it's it's not really panning out. So I'm going to upload the first part of it today. And uh, the second part was supposed to be more serious and more cool. The front was kind of supposed to be, like, a little cringy but funny. Uh, kind of funny, and it didn't turn out as funny as I'd liked. And the second part is just really hard to edit. Like, combine shots and make it look okay. Because I don't think I've ever done that before, so... <laughs> Excuse me if it's absolutely terrible today, but I hope you enjoy it. It's coming out. It should be it should be under the title ways to play space engineers It'll probably be up before this video because I've already edited it and set it set it to render It's not rendering when this when this video is rendering because I noticed that if I try to render while I'm playing another game Or while I'm recording this game It goes ahead and drops a bunch of frames and it makes audio a nightmare Oops. Oh gosh, I hit the wall or I hit the floor snap my ankle or something. I don't know. Oh, anyways, it's kind of ridiculously hot I'm gonna run back to the base and put some more stone in and More stone and there should be batteries made now, right? There's only five wait five. I thought we only needed like two or three Um I think we must have needed five. Can I make that go away? Please go away. Whatever you are, please go away. Um, if I do this and collapse that, it'll probably go away. Uh, poop. And let me head over to the battery. Hopefully I needed eight. It would make sense. Just three more. Hooray. Again. Let me keel up real quick. Ugh, they keep doing that. All right. To the battery. It needs two more. Really? Really? That wasn't enough iron? Wow, okay, fine. I'll go get more iron. And not hurt myself in the process. That sounds like a good idea, actually. There's some more iron, and I forgot my drill, so... Back to the base. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. That doesn't... Yeah, that's not enough. That made nothing. Made absolutely nothing. Okay, well, two more batteries to go. Boop. Two more power cells. Almost there. Let's stop flying around so much. Oh, okay. Well, we have, like, unlimited hydrogen, so I don't know really why I care so much about flying around. Uh, drill. You're not needed. You're not needed. And I can just drill for some more rock, which I have to go all the way over here for. Because I don't think that rock changed much, really. But I'm not going to chance it too much. And I will go ahead and grab all this rock. There's no gold under it anyway, so... Although there is gold right here, I'm not sure if the basic refinery can refine gold. It'd be nice if it could. I don't think it can. So I've taken a few steps to cool everything down in the house. And I noticed something in the pause screen. Pressing alt <laughs> will uh, will affect the the antenna stuff where you can like, hold alt and it shows you more details on it. Oops. It, it does that in the pause screen for whatever reason. That was pretty neat. I don't think too much of it, too much of it though. Um, let me grab a welder. It is now slightly cooler. I could put, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's California. I was like, wait, why is it, wasn't it just cold a minute ago? Oh, yes, we have a battery, and it's, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
let's get down before we crash. Well, I know the fuel's critical. I wonder how why the fuel continues to tick down even after you've stopped. Anyways, we have a battery, and we can see its status from down here. So I don't have to go up there and look. And it should be charging, I think. Uh, battery. Current output is 17 kilowatts. Current input is 719. Fantastic! <laughs> now we have a battery that's charging. Ha! Huh. Take that other base. No, I still like you. But <clears throat> I like the location. It's like on this on this hill, and it looks really nice. Um, yeah, we gotta continue building this little guy. We're gonna need all that stone that I just left over there. Go ahead and nab that real quick. Not this hole, but the next one. Oh, I can't jump that high. But the next one. Oh, you know what? The the remote control's fixed. It still has a seat on it. Why don't I just drive the thing over here? And fill up the chest with, uh, the chest, the container with stone. I, I don't know. No reason, actually. Alright, let's grab the remote. Oops. Remote. Grab. And unpark. So, if I just face the camera this way, it sh everything should be normal, right? Yes. Good. Very good. Okay, I guess it's... A bit too heavy for it now. One of the wheels isn't turning. Oh, because I've, I've, I've completely destroyed that one. Well, I haven't destroyed it. I just completely, uh, I tore it down a bit. I've got it to stop working, which is the, which is a kind of a problem. But you know what? Uh, we got enough. Got enough to at least get us almost over there. A little more. All right. This is turning out to be more work than I thought. Uh, let's set all the wheels to turn. We're not going to be able to go that fast anymore. Uh, all wheels. Enable steering. There we go. <clears throat> ah, but we're still running into a bit of an issue, it looks like. That wheel being straight is causing a lot more problems than it seems to be worth, as it's resisting the turn. Okay, let me see what it needs, and I might be able to grab some from what I have already. What do you need? What do you need, little friend? What do you need? You need steel tubes, motors, construction components, <laughs> and everything else. Okay, well you have none of that and I don't have a grinder, so we'll just grab all this stone. And I don't have to make a hundred trips, now I can just pop up here and drop them in there. Hopefully the weight might, the weight might help, I guess. It might. I, I don't see it as helping too much, but whatever, whatever helps, helps. Yeah. That's a hydrogen bottle, that is not stone. There we go. That is one trip's worth of stone without all the... Without, with an empty inventory, I, I believe that's about a trip's worth of stone. So, it was kind of a waste, but we'll, we'll go back over to the... We'll go back over to the base, and... You know, it's a few feet away, really. Uh, remote control. Control. Uh, unpark. And view needs to be rotated. There we go. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's a bit sloppy. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit, and then go straight from there. Yeah, that works. That works just fine. I had a quick glance to make sure I was recording because I I paused it when I was when I went downstairs. And okay, our our few feet, our journey of a few feet is <laughs> has been resolved. Oops, that that can't hold anything. Oh, I can reach through there, can I? No. For a moment, I was able to reach through there, but I didn't. Oh, that's okay. I'll just reach through that. All right, shorter trips. We still have to make trips, but they're much shorter. Into, into the survival kit. Please tell me the survival kit. Okay, it doesn't have anything queued up. Is it hoarding anything? No, it's not. Okay. Refinery, do things with that. It, it, it'll hoard it if it's holding it, I guess. That's okay. Uh, more stone. I wonder if there's small ship variants of this. That'd be really cool if there was small ship production. That makes large small ships like more, more uh, feasible. You know, I, I can see the appeal of making large small ships because you get all sorts of detail or you can cram like so much stuff into one space. Like it, it's very nice. But then I can also see like an issue of having large small ships from a performance standpoint. But eh, we'll see. Uh, we have one grid that we need and eight steel plates. So uh, this motor has a lot of stuff in it already. It gets more. It's almost done. Sweet, that motor's almost done. We need a good way to drill 
and transport materials. So I think I'm going to remove <laughs> what I literally just added. And I'm going to put it back in this so I can drive around and mine up some stuff. I do need iron in a large quantity. So maybe I'll fly this closer to that, or I'll drive this closer to that base and just hop back and forth with iron. Um, why am I in here? I thought I was adding to this. Yeah, I just need the motor and construction components. Excuse me. Ladder, you have... No, no. Other ladder, you have like a bunch of construction components you don't need. Thank you. Oh, and I accidentally took your small steel tubes. That's okay. Because I didn't want to make it anyways. We'll just take one motor, please. Oh, please. I have 20. Oh, I require 20. Dang it. Okay. Uh, who has a motor that I can steal? You don't have any. I know one of you has like 20. Come on. Give it up. You have 18. I'll take those. Thank you. And I'll put you back. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No hard feelings, little little thruster. There you go. Good as new, mostly. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and chuck whatever we currently are not using into the machine, actually. There's no point in wasting it. Or wasting it. Putting it away when we don't need it to be put away. All right. Holding everything I need. Grab the drill. Drills are useful. More steel plates. Those are always useful. And I see... We have three displays. I think I just need one. And that would be for the cargo container. No, no, it didn't need one. I already had one in it. That's okay. Uh, well, let's just work on downward thrust for now then, I guess. All right, what else do I have in my inventory? Oh, I have steel plates. Do you guys don't need more steel plates? You need more steel plates. You always need more steel plates. All right. Now that the drill has a bit more drill to it, and I have everything I need to take with me, all right, good. So we'll throw that in there, fill up the bottle. Yeah, sweet. Okay. I can store these, which I can somehow fit through the small small hole, but that's all right. I need the drill. There we go. And I can head up towards the other base and grab just raw iron, which is, I think is the only resources we desperately need. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. I figured that was a antenna only thing. All right, that's forward and let's go forward. Alright, with this little bit more weight, I think we'll be slow enough that I don't have to worry about flying around everywhere. <clears throat> it's going to be kind of sad when we're missing the... Uh... Oh, I'm going pretty quick. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to spam the, the turn here. Oh, I lost my headlights. I have just these amazing reverse lights now. <laughs> Alright, let me go up this side. I think there might be a cause for going up this way. Assuming that, of course, we can make it up this way. It doesn't look very promising. Come on, you can do it. All right, hold on, hold on. Brakes. Uh, terminal. All of you. More friction. Let's, let's uh, deflate these tires, like, all the way. Go. Come on. It's got to be enough. Really? It isn't enough? Oh, I, I thrust it backwards. We were, we, were, we were barely fighting it on the way up. We need more power. All right. Going to start unlocking some power limits here. Go! Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're just going to consume more energy while we push forward. Ooh, this probably wasn't the best idea. Dang. I I had actually thought it was. I didn't see the uh, the ridge right... I didn't see the, the lumps in the ridge right in front of us. Okay, that looks like a pretty straight shot downward. So I'm going to go ahead and control everything back to a low percentage. I think it was at... 10% and like 70% friction. Alright. Gosh, I need to adjust this camera. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Uh, I think we're still at the high percentage of power, are we? Did I really have it? Yeah, yeah, okay. For some reason it got adjusted back up. I must have clicked it when I went. Oh, my other mouse might be plugged in. Something might have happened on that. Alright, sweet. We're now not now we're now not going like crazy. That's ice. Wait, is the order sector operational? I don't think it is, but we're getting ice. Okay, maybe the order sector doesn't need to be operational. It might just work. That'd be cool. That's kind of cheaty, but cool. Oh, come on. <laughs> we're almost there. Only 800 meters. All right. Uh, brakes. Back to the terminal. 
And we'll just bump up the power a little bit. We have battery to spare, kind of. Just up, just up a little more. <clears throat> there we go. And I think we're back onto this ridge that... For some reason that ice is just sticking onto the display. I'm not sure what the, what the problem is. Could be some mod messing with something. Alright. Back down we go. Back up we go. This is a good path so far. You know what? This path is starting to look familiar. Yep. Okay. This, these two little water spots remind me this is the exact same path we took earlier. And it seems to have no way around. I can... I can keep going. Oh, oh. I could keep going. Could grab my controller, too. Yeah, no, it just starts to go down. So let me line myself up at the base so we're as close, po close as possible. I don't think we're going to get much closer than this, really. Alright, I'll line up myself at the base. And we're about halfway between both bases now. A little bit. Alright, into park mode. Got two days of battery. I'm just going to turn these off just in case. Three days of battery. A whole day of battery from those just sitting there idle. Well, <laughs> ah, it's still something's still consuming power. It might just be me sitting on it. All right. Well, then let's head up to the base and let's grab all of the good iron. See, it's a bit closer. Makes for makes for nicer, easier trips. Uh, anything in here useful? I know the entire cargo containers resources are useful. Oh, those are good for motors and stuff. It's a good thing I brought them with me. I'll take the ice as well. Don't necessarily need it, but I'll take it anyways. I know I meant to grab iron, but I figured since I was stopping at, since I was near the base that I would just grab whatever's in it anyways. And I figured it would have been good, and it was. It was a very good decision. Alright, some ice, more ice for you. We can store the Zigon, and we could take the welder and start adding to some of these thrusters. Let's get the downwards thrusters going first. I know I added a bunch of stuff to other thrusters, but... Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably want these to work first. Oh, did I already consume all of the materials? Uh, I have two compute or er, two construction components left. Yeah, there wasn't much at the base. <laughs> I didn't say there was much at the base. Uh, you have your computer that you need, as do you, and as do you. Everything has the computers that they need, not you. All right, computers are now added, and I have them holding one computer and a construction component. You just need motors? That's weird. All right. Well. Since we're here and we have more hydrogen, and it's a reasonable idea to run down to it in case we run out, I can fly over to the base, fly a little bit past it, onto the iron tree, and into the hole full of iron. Since I'm pretty sure there's also more iron somewhere else, but I don't really care to go looking for it. Not yet, when there's a known good spot, and hopefully the, the next known good spot is close. Okay. Got a lot of iron ore here. And a voice that just, like, went all crazy. Uh, let's fly on over to the respawn pod, which is in a very deceptive ridge. Alright. See, one hydrogen, or one refill of hydrogen is enough to get us there and back. I think that's a pretty good deal there. Uh, we'll chuck the drill away for now, refill the hydrogen model, and head back out. With a completely Im empty inventory, we'll gather stone and iron, more iron than stone, of course, and then we'll head back. Well, then we'll head back to the, the truck <laughs> at that point. Oh yeah, I think we're going to only be full of iron. This kind of reduces the amount of trips I need to take. Especially since it looks like I can do each trip with no I need I need the bottle now I'm gonna hover still so it gets into the red and I think when it's in the red it refills come on let me fly around waste some hydrogen I wish I could just open a valve and just purge it there we go well it'd be easier if I could just tell it to hey refill you know and we use the hydrogen thank you all right now it's at 69 percent I can fly back probably the last trip I want to make since uh, so many trips to make for for what <laughs> for iron which is probably everywhere I just haven't gotten lucky and seen it while I was standing there at the other base oh my gosh that scared me oh I saw all the red on the screen I'm like oh did I just die oh I didn't okay uh, my palms got very sweaty all of a sudden let me oh man <laughs> 
talking and flying. You know, this is why they don't say text and drive. You know, you still get distracted, even if you're even if you're uh, just talking on the phone and driving, you get distracted. Oh man, that was scary. Okay, Whew. let's land a bit safely here. I'm gonna go back to the base and grab whatever's in that cargo container. Not whatever's in it, as in like whatever it contains, but whatever it's made of. Come on, there we go. Or I could leave it and it'll be like, hey, this is emergency base. Like my last base got pummeled by asteroids or blown up by enemies that I led home on accident. Not saying it hasn't happened before. Uh, <laughs> and this would be like a nice little emergency base, but I don't think we're at the point to be depositing that many resources. What's in here? You still have a lot of build to. Yeah, you got construction components and motors. I need those. I need that all. Good. Thank you. Uh, you have ice and oxygen bottles and gravel. Yeah, I don't need any of that. So let's go ahead and take all this as much as I can hold. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it, it has practically nothing in it. Like a bottle of oxygen I totally need on the planet's surface. <laughs> Uh, let me put this grinder away and I can start adding to these these uh, thrusters here. So you didn't know I'd be adding to the thrusters while I was looking for more material. Look at all that! Man, these got so much stuff now. I think we have enough metal grids that we don't need the cobalt. Or to use the cobalt that we so easily have. Sweet! Uh, how many more metal grids do we have? Zero. So yeah, we, we need a bit more cobalt. Or we need cobalt, but you know. <laughs> we don't need it so immediately. Uh, none of you use small steel tubes, really? Why do I have all these small steel tubes and can't use them? Ugh. None of you, really. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Well, I'll put them away. Oh, wait. Do any of you? Ore detector. Gyroscope probably uses them. Whoa, whoa, okay. Thank you. This is a very tiny object to influence such a large ship. Okay. Nope. And no. Okay. I guess I got small steel tubes to recycle, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And I got computers and motors. What needed computers? Nothing. Or displays. Sorry, displays and computers. Okay. And a couple thousand iron. Nice. Alright, let me grab some hydrogen just in case. And then I can head back. Just in case I need to, to bail <laughs> and fly very far, very fast. I don't run out of fuel and die. Um, I could do that staggered jetpack thing and kick it on and off every now and then. Um, remote control. There we go. Control. Oh, please don't switch my camera. You switch my camera. You but Okay. And we can now leave. No, we can't leave because I forgot I turned those off. Oh, I need to make sure I can turn those on very quickly. Okay. No, I didn't. Didn't have to make sure too far or too hard. All right. Let's go. Off to save the universe. From all the pirates that are in this canyon. Well, I haven't seen a single one yet, but I'm sure they're there. Uh, that looks like the way down. Yeah, that is the way down. Oh, caught some air there. Let's slow down. Apply the brakes. And, yeah, I'll have to switch the back wheels to turning in a... Or, to no turning in a minute. Or, probably after I get back at this point. Oh, oh. <laughs> we turn on a dime, and that's not good for our... Uh, our, uh, what do you call it? I don't remember. <laughs> From, from the force we're applying in that direction. Oh, that was a bit weird. Kind of like bounced up and around all over the place. And we caught some heat. We got hot in that little transaction with the ground. Oh man, that was, that was kind of spooky. D am I going to have this ice on my HUD forever? What is this? What is this? Why, did, why am I detecting this ice? Uh, that doesn't make much sense at all. Uh, you're fine, Ice. Uh, let me... Oh, nice! Totally planned to do that. Totally planned. <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. The dogs are very angry at the dogs next door, since they don't usually have their dogs in the back. Our dogs are very angry at them. They... I think they tell them mean things. That's why our dogs see, see the need to bark at them so much. We, we've... Uh, let, me, let me go quiet them down. All right, that should have hushed them for a bit, at least, until they, until the other dogs tell them more mean things. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't understand dogs sometimes. Well, most of the time, I, I love them to death, but <laughs> they're so just illogical. Like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna bark at these dogs that we know. 
We're just gonna yell at them for no part no particular reason. Eh. They're fun though. Um, I don't need any of that. What am I doing? I need. I do need the steel plates actually. Okay, so what do I need? Four. That was really quick. Five, six. I need eight large steel tubes. Probably more because the that f requires four. What do these things require? Okay. I need eight large steel tubes, please. Excuse me. I get the, the, the assembler is turning on and off, and it is kind of bugging me. All right, so we need, uh, I think, eight. No, no, we need, whoa. Hey, calm down. All right, we have four. Oh, wait, no, we don't need four. We need four, six. Yeah, we, need, we just need eight. I don't know what I'm doing. We need eight large steel tubes. I should have trusted myself. And first of all, I'm going to go into production here real quick in the inventory. Recycle. Y what? Production. Oh, it was in the survival kits inventory. And recycle you, recycle you, and recycle you. All right, that's all I have extra. I don't think I need any more computers or small steel tubes. So those are easily turned back, to, turned back into resources. Disassembling all 20 of those, all two of these, and all four of these. And we'll just wait for that to go while I map out more of what I need. So I need eight large steel tubes. I think two... I think I need four metal grids. No. Nope. I just need three metal grids. Eight large steel tubes, three metal grids. Let me make sure. Yep. Eight large steel tubes, three metal grids, quite a few motors, and then construction components and steel plates as usual. So let me... Oh, I can also recycle 24 of those girders. I... Don't know why I have so many. I thought I, I thought I used them to make uh, wind turbines. I might have used them for something else. Mm -hmm. That's a bit confusing. I do have a cargo container. That's what I was looking for when I was flying around. I'm like oh, I could have swore I had a cargo container. I do. All right. Let me take these twenty-two and add them to all the motors to see how many. I think we already have all the steel plates for the motors. Everything that I've at least added stuff to, anyways. I uh, needed those, okay. Needed just one more there. How about for you? How many do you need? Just one more. Two. Yeah, we need about like 10, 20. I'll just go four. Assembling. Eight. Four. Uh, I think 80 motors might do us well. I think 100, actually. We need quite a few motors for those. Uh, for those engines, but okay, we'll do 40 for now because I know the um, the uh, what do you call them? The wheels have engines or have motors in them. Engines. <laughs> wheels have quite a few motors in them, so I think I should be out, right? No, nope, now I'm out. Now I'll be out. No, nope, I'm not out. What? I thought I made six. I thought I was holding six. Okay, guess not. Might have been holding more than six. One, two, four, five, six. I was holding seven. Okay. Uh, that's it, for some reason one threw me for a loop, and we're. Yeah, don't tell me we're out of iron, really. Really, after all of that, nine hundred and ninety-nine iron. Is that not enough? Is that not enough for you? Oh, you need nickel. Oh, that's a bit unusual. I never, I never run out of nickel. Huh. Hopefully, displays use nickel. Uh, recycle those two displays. <laughs> Oh, I didn't I have like a ton of nickel? I haven't been producing that many motors, have I? I guess I have. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? The batteries probably used all that nickel. That makes sense. All right. What's coming off first? Because this is going to be sitting on the floor once I cut off these things. Okay. These. Ooh, they only have four motors in total. I figured a lot more. So you could tell by how. Huh. Okay. You have... You already have the large steel tube. All of the motors attached have large steel tubes. Except the one that needs to go this way. But can't go this way because it's... Because the way it sits. Um... I can always just put it one up. Right? No, because it, then it's crossing into that one. So I'd have to put it right here. Which means the other one's not right here. And it doesn't look right. Alright, it's still going to get pushed back, I guess. Because I don't see where to put it. I can put it right there. 
You know, I'll stick it right there for now so I can pour resources into it and be correct on how many resources I need. And I need a lot of construction components because each one of these needs 20. So that's... Uh, there's 100 right there. That's 200. 260. Or 230. I don't know why I doubled the drill. Uh, just 230, 250, so 260. Just so I can have a few extra. Uh, nah, nah, nah. What am I doing? 1, 2, 60. Okay, cool. We'll add those while we have time. I have extra steel plates in there. That's okay. Alright, I would like these large steel tubes, please. And as many construction components as you can give me, actually. I'd like to be able to stop the queue before it gets out of hand. Yeah, this thing is becoming wheelless very quickly. Well, now there's just frames of wheels. It's like someone came and stole my wheels. <laughs> That's an old problem to have, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. You might see it today still. Oh, sweet. And we can finish the drill any moment now. All right. Drill's done. Now we can drill exactly what we're standing on. <laughs> That, that's okay. Uh, into the motor, take those construction components. Into the motor, steel tubes, construction components. And you have the last of it. Thank you. Thank you for your kind donation. I will be putting your stuff to very good use. Like that ore detector is almost completely done because of you. And this, gyro this gyroscope. Just a second. That hurt very much. I flicked a gnat that landed on the pop filter. Of all places for a gnat to land. <laughs> and you, by by sacrificing your your um, your large steel tubes and other components, were and one steel plate, you were able to finish the gyroscope. The ship is like becoming other parts of itself, which is really cool. I think. All right, four radio components, one detector component. That's that's doable, I think. Depends on how much stuff I've wasted. Four and one detector, which probably needs nickel. Yeah, it does. It needs 15 out of the two we have. I thought there was more. There is two in the basic assembler and none there. Ooh. Can't believe I ran out of nickel. Uh, can we go ahead and pause that production for a moment? I will... Throw as many construction components as are needed into where they need to go, but I think we might be good on construction components here pretty soon. Yeah, looks like it. Look at all those. You have all of them you need. You have all of them you need. You as well, yes? Yes! Good! Very good! We're, we're, we're doing swell in construction components. How long has it been? I haven't been paying too, uh, keeping too much track of time. Oh no. That could never end well. Uh, let me <laughs> let me go ahead and grab all this stuff that I need first. Oh, great. We have 86 construction components when they were no longer needed. But we have an antenna. Well, half of one. And no ore detector? Yeah. Okay. Construction components, you can go ahead and be disassembled, all 86 of you. Uh, let me take these first, and then I can go back to production and just go disassemble all. Very nice. And then... I did need them. I did need the construction components for the ladders. Yeah, but the drill is more important. Okay. So I'm going to check... Uh, I'm going to check where I can find some nickel. Uh, I'm going to walk around with the drill for a little bit. And make it a very anticlimactic ending for the day. <laughs> uh, disassembling. I just I have so much fun playing this game. If, if it wasn't like... If it wasn't a... A thing to be recorded, edited, and then rendered and uploaded. I'd play it for hours and hours and hours. Uh, not not really. I'd play it for as long as I had gold. Okay. Well, right now I have like several hours. More gold and ice. There's gold and ice. I'm just gonna run this way. I don't have a lot of uh. I don't have a lot of uh, what do you call it? Hydrogen. There's more ice. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. I, is, as if I couldn't see that. You're a very good ore detector. So great. Uh, looks like something landed here. Disturbed this tree a little bit. 
Now the tree's not disturbed. Oh, yeah, the tree's a bit disturbed. I'm pretty sure it doesn't want me to see that. Sorry. I'll be going this way. <laughs> you didn't have any materials anyways. Okay, I'm getting pretty far from some of my stuff, and I still don't see any nickel or any ore deposits for that matter. Should be the darker areas on the surface. Hmm, I don't see any. It looks like a darker area over here. Gonna land it down. Nothing. Okay, let's go check out this crater landing and hopefully it has something amazing and if it doesn't, oh well. Ooh, ooh, what are you? You look like cobalt, actually. Magnesium. Okay, those are good. That's good for our weapons. Our weapons need magnesium. And we need weapons, so. And I thought in the distance I saw... That looks pretty shiny. Ah, that's pretty far, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back to base. Let me go for... Feel low, three, two, one, and yes, perfect. <laughs> I'm hopping now. Oh, okay, dang it. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to hop for a little bit. I didn't get damaged from that, did I? I don't think I did. No, we just got gold and ice. Beautiful. No nickel, though. We will get a little bit from the stone we picked up from the magnesium, but nothing more than that. Sweet, we can refine magnesium. That's good. Yay, 0.25 nickel. <laughs> Ah, uh, I was really hoping to be able to finish the mining ship today, but it, it looks like that's, that's not going to happen, so, well, until next time, happy engineering.